Hello everyone, welcome to the advanced tutorial of Unity. I'm Leo, glad to see you guys. Today I'm going to talk about a super interesting and technical functions in Unity, that is facing detection by OpenCV. Have you ever played this game by your phone? This was a really popular game on your smartphone, and you can see lots of video in TikTok that people are moving their heads to play this game which is really fun. In Unity, we can also utilize the face detection functions by OpenCV+. So, what is OpenCV? OpenCV is a library of programming functions mainly aimed at a real-time computer version, originally developed by Intel. The library is cross-platform and free for use under the open source BSD license and it also supports the deep learning frameworks. You can easily access the OpenCV Plus in the Unity Asset Store. Remember, it's free. In this video, I will tell you how to use OpenCV Plus to detect human face in Unity. I will teach you step by step, so take it easy. After that, I'm going to talk about how to apply the OpenCV Plus to the actual game. At the end of this tutorial, we will also discuss the topic about the face detections, the limitation of the OpenCV, and some reflection of the process of my learning. Now, let us start to create a demo to show how to use OpenCV in Unity to detect human face. Firstly, we open the Unity Editor, and then open the Asset Store. We can also find lots of really good templates and assets. Some of them are free, so you can use it to practice. Search the OpenCV Plus Unity and download it. When the download is ready, you can input OpenCV Plus Unity to your project. And you will see the console will promote an error because of the unsafe code. Now, we open the project setting and select a law unsafe code under the player. Now, all the preparation work has been done. By the way, this asset provides lots of samples that you can use to practice OpenCV Unity. If you have time, you can use it. Now, we have to create a new scene. Just pick up the name as you like for your project. I named the face detector. In this scene, we will create a new plane and use the webcam image as the material. And then I will add a new script, face detector, to this plane. Now let's have a look at the script. Open the script, add a new namespace at OpenCV Sharp. Firstly, we have to declare a empty texture for this plane. And then we create an array to store the list of webcap device. In the start of the program, we need to load all cameras. In my case, the camera I want to use is the first one in the list, which is the device 0.
and then we need to make the camera start play. Under the update, we need to use the webcam texture as the render texture. Okay, now let's have a look at the running of the script. Now you can see that the camera is working now and you can see my face on the screen. But the next question is, how do we pass the frame to OpenCV and recognize the face in the camera? Firstly, we need to declare a cascade classifier, which is a pre-trained classifier officially provided by OpenCV. We need to put the file under asset and load it. And then we need to create a new OpenCV mat to store the current frame. After that, we need to create a new function, find a new face. And then we pass the frame. Under the find a new face, we use cascade to detect whether there is a matching image in the frame, and if there is, store it as faces. Now, we need to pass the frame to this function, and then we use the defaulted scale factor and minimum neighbor. We set the detection type as scale image. When detecting the face, we print the coordinates of the first face in the console. This part has been almost done, so let's test it. If I move my face out of the screen, the data has stopped updating. So we get the coordinates of the face. But can we directly see how it is recognized? Firstly, let's comment out the previous render. And then declare a new rectangle to store the face. Here I call it my face. When OpenCV detects a face, we store that face in my face. And then we will create a new function to display. If my face contains the face data, we add a rectangle to the frame. Here we turn OpenCV mat into texture and add it to material. Now let us check the final work. When you can see the blue rectangle on my face, which means my face has been successfully detected by the system. Now, I'm going to talk about how the OpenCV can be applied in the actual game. I have made a sample game by using OpenCV plus Unity. As you can see, the player needs to move the head to avoid the water paps. If you call it with the water paps, the game is over. To make this game, I prepared some basic objects in advance, such as background water paps and game age. The code is very simple. All the scenes will move to the right at a constant speed. When the trigger enter is detected at the edge of the game, a new one will be instantiated on the right side, and the object will be destroyed when the trigger existed. Okay, let's start making games now. Firstly, as we mentioned before, we need to create a new plan. This time, I changed the plan to a new transparent material, so that it can blend well with the background. We add the script of the previous face tracker on this plan. Let's try, and it looks good. Next, we add the bird to the scene, and add a new script, we call it bird. We want the bird to move up and down 
based on the y axis of the face. So we go back to the face detector. We want to add a new public float, my face y, to pass the face coordinates. Let's go back to the script of the bird. We can easily get the face y. But there is a problem here. We cannot directly use the value of face y. We can try it to find a reason. Obviously, the reason is that the coordinates of the bird are different from what we actually imagined. So let's go back to the code. Firstly, we need to add a float to record the value of the previous frame. And then we calculate the difference between the current and the previous frame. After that, we need to normalize it so that we can get a relative direction of facial movement. Let's play the game and try again. Now we can use our face to control the movement of the bird. Congratulations, we did it! There are many advantages of using face detections in the game design. The most important one is that face detection functions can enhance the player game experience by establishing an immersive environment to encourage the player to interact within the game. More interactions events would be feasible involving in face detection technology. As face detection has been widely used in other areas, especially for the security works and the smartphone. It also can be provided more possibility for game designer. As recently, AR and VR become increasingly popular in the video game market. There will be a huge space for game development due to this technology. OpenCV is not the most effective method for image processing. However, if you want to learn about image processing and the functions of face detection, it is really easy for you to start with OpenCV due to its low difficulties and the less knowledge barriers. As a long-time technology accumulation, the database and the resources of OpenCV are abandoned to support the users to perfectly find a solution in their project. For personal perspective, the reason why we choose this topic is that we made some projects before by using OpenCV library in processing and Python. However, it is still a challenge for us that this is our first time to utilize OpenCV in Unity. Based on our research, we found that OpenCV has not been commonly used in the Unity project. The main reason is that many games that require the fixed detection technology has usually chosen the smartphone as their platform. For example, Apple has a comprehensive AR kit, and Android also has its own application program interface for AR development. The OpenCV plugin and its sample that can be used in Unity are almost based on OpenCV Sharp. OpenCV Sharp is too old, and we can't find enough resources and documentations to support us to use and learn. The only thing that we can do is to deeply learn the source code of OpenCV in order to find out solutions that can be perfectly matched with Unity. Thus, we face lots of pressure and challenges to deal with this topic but we still figure it out. In the end, we can't say that OpenCV could be deprecated. As for many special hardware equipment, OpenCV could still provide high quality and effective support. We believe that when AR or VR become an important component for a game platform, OpenCV will play a significant role in the future. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.